Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to talk about drop additional skills timeout in Salesforce OmniFlow. If we are using Salesforce skill based routing rules, then it is very easy to see drop additional skills timeout. The same drop additional skill uh, skills timeout can be used um, with OmniFlow also. So in this demo, we are going to see how to do that uh, using the OmniFlow. I have a routing configuration. The name is case routing and uh, the units of capacity is one drop additional skills timeout second uh, sorry timeout seconds is 30 seconds um, okay i just wanted to refresh so that uh, it is uh, having the latest information so the drop additional skills timeout uh, is 30 seconds and the units of capacity is one so we are going to see how this is going to work when i'm going to use OmniFlow for uh, routing cases. So this is my Omni channel flow. This is the start element and uh, I am using add skill requirements uh, action. Here um, I am I have created a skill uh, list uh, variable and then I am using that as input and um, this is going to be empty uh, as per the Salesforce help article. I followed the instruction there and then I created this list and then I am make, I'm adding three skill requirements and the maximum can be 10. Uh, I have sales, service and marketing. Sales is mandatory skill so I am not selecting that as additional skill and service and marketing I am marking the, them as additional skills. If you look at the priority service is priority one for me and marketing is priority two for me. So if a case is routed via this omni channel it will assign three skills sales service and marketing it will wait for 30 seconds because my drop additional skills timeout is 30 seconds and then remove this marketing skill after 30 seconds and then finally after 30 more additional seconds so that is after a minute it will drop this service skill and then it will wait for an agent with uh, this skill. So initially when the case is routed, it will look for an agent with all the three skills, sales, service and marketing. After 30 seconds, it will drop marketing and then it will wait for an agent to be available with skills, sales and service. After a minute, that is 30 seconds plus 30 seconds, 60 seconds, which is equal to one minute, it will wait, it will drop the service skill also if there are no agents available with sales and service and then it will wait for an agent with skill service until an agent is available with sales skill, uh, Salesforce Omni channel will wait to assign the case record. Okay, so let me make this. Um, so I have cancelled it and uh, let's see what is happening on the route uh, work core action here record id is nothing but the case id service channel is case and route to i am selecting skills and then i am using define skills uh, skill requirements and here i am getting the skill requirements from the previous uh, adding skill requirements uh, element and i am setting the routing configuration as case routing so if this flow is called omni flow is called it will add three skills two skills as uh, drop uh, additional skills and uh, sales as the mandatory skill it will wait for 30 seconds for each and every skills to be dropped and it will call the route uh, work action and then it will route the record id whatever we pass so here i am using three variables sorry two variables one is skill list uh, this variable is list of uh, skill requirement um, which is used in adding skill requirements and I am using record ID which is nothing but the input this is available for input this is nothing but is going to be my rec uh, case record ID okay next I have a record triggered flow 
on case object whenever a case is created and uh, if the case status is new and if the type is mechanical then it will go into the next uh, uh, action item that is run immediately it will call the case omni flow it will uh, it will call this omni flow if you see here i am just calling the flow i am passing the record id variable which is an input variable in my uh, omni channel flow as the record id that is nothing but my uh, uh, case record id so when a case is created with the status is equal to new and uh, type as mechanical it will call this case omni flow and then it will assign the case id to the record id variable in the omni channel flow so let's execute this code which will create a case record of type mechanical and status is equal to new so that it will trigger this record triggered flow and then it will call this uh, omni channel flow and then in the omni supervisor we can see how it is dropping the additional skills so i am executing it case is created so now it is looking for three skills marketing sales and service here service and marketing are uh, additional skills sales is mandatory so after 30 seconds as per the drop additional skills timeout it should drop this marketing skills see marketing skill is uh, removed because the priority is two for me so this is the high priority one so it will wait for another 30 seconds so now 10 more seconds it will drop service also because service skill is also additional and then it will wait for an agent with uh, with the only sales skill so that it, it can assign the case to that agent please check the video description i have shared my blog post which has screenshots and a reference using which you can build an omni flow and a record triggered flow to route uh, uh, the case record via omni channel flow and then we can also use drop additional uh, uh, skill feature I hope it was helpful. Thank you for watching.